All right, we're going to talk about magic a little more. The, the High Elf Magic, or as it's known as High Magic, it's got six spells, and actually you have uh, Drain Magic, as I alluded to earlier. Uh, drain Magic, huge. It's changed from what it was in 6th edition, uh, but I sort of like this change. It adds, if you get it off, it's now cost three more to get off uh, your opponent to get off his spells. So that can really, against some Chaos Demon armies and Vampire Counts, that can be pretty big. Uh, one note is you want to cast this spell last because uh, it will affect your own casting level. So your Fury of Cain, which is an 8, would become an 11. Alright, we're going to talk about the six high elf spells. The first one is Shield of Sacri. Basically this gives your unit a ward save. Uh, it's respectable. It can be in close combat or not. Uh, ward save always a good thing to give, and it's a casting level pretty low of 5. The next one is Curse of Arrow Attraction. Uh, Here's situational if you have your bowman, which I personally don't like, but your Peter uh, bows or war machines, yeah. What this allows you to do is reroll misses. Pretty darn big. It also has a pretty decent casting level. The next one is called Courage of, I can't even pronounce this, Aneron or whatever. Uh, it lets you count as stubborn. Could be good, could be bad. That's sort of mediocre. Fury of Cain, your typical 2d6 strength 4 magic missile, casting level 8. Uh, we're getting into some of the other spells. Fury of Cain, I think it's casting level is too high, uh, but that's just me. Every, every model takes a hit, so that could be huge, especially against horde armies. And then the one that gives people heartburn, there's a magic item that does this, and then the number 6 spell. Granted, it has a high casting level, the highest for the whole, all the high of at 12 is balls unmaking. This basically destroys a magic item. Not that there's a lot of magic items in the game, but people have heartburn over that. Alright, next thing we're going to talk about, or actually I'm not going to really talk about, I don't like special characters, but Games Workshop is bound and determined to uh, push these down our throat. So, uh, actually I'll probably touch on a few of them. All right, moving on to the high up special characters. You got Tyrion. He is your uber fighter guy. You like that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm not going to go into his points. He seems like a decent buy for his point cost. Teclas, if you want to rule the magic phase, he's sort of spendy, but he's got some good abilities too. Eltherian, not really that impressed with. Aleph Anar, hmm. He's okay. Uh, the the one uh, special character that I actually on own is Caradron. Uh, he lets your Phoenix. I'm sorry. He lets your uh, he lets your Phoenix guard become stubborn on a nine because he has a stubborn rule. That is huge. I think there's a huge difference between eight and nine. Core Hill, yeah, I like him. Would I buy him? Mm, maybe. But anyway, that's a that's my overview of the high elves. I hope you guys find it useful. Uh, next, I'm gonna I'm gonna rant and rave about the high elves. It's something that happened to me last week, and actually just happened right now. All right, one of my complaints is GW is getting cheap. And what do I mean by cheap? Well, I haven't had my high elf book that long, and while doing this review the pages fell out of it. And this isn't the first book. I have another, I have other books, one of my Demons of Chaos for 40k. The pages are starting to come out of it. Games Workshop is like almost every other company's printing in China. The binding or the glue is just crap. I'm going to have to go spend a few bucks now and have it spiral bound. Uh, I am really, you know, disenchanted with the quality of the books that Games Workshop has been, uh, as far as their binding has been uh, doing as of late. All right, now on to more rants. All right, as we know, the Always Strike First Rule, that's what the High Elves are about. You know, and like I said, our our game local game shop is now starting an Escalation League. Well, last week I was playing a Bretonian player. You know, lots of knights, peasants. Well, he started bit, bitching and complaining that, oh, your guy strike first, it's not fair, I don't wanna play him. 
Well, what he didn't realize is, is I'm a veteran player. Like I said, I've been playing this game since 5th edition. I outmaneuvered him and got the charges off. So the always strike first rule didn't come into play except for one time. And when was that? Oh, it was when three of his knights, what remained from a unit that had crushed one of my units and went off the board, came back on and my bolt thrower crew got to strike first. Well, I killed one of his guys. And between, you know, he was just, I think he was just bitching and moaning because he was losing to an elf. Uh, I took two magic users, and we're, we were only playing a thousand point game. Yes, I did. I took two magic users and a repeater bolt thrower. Well, you know, he's a Bretonian player. He wasn't too smart. He didn't take a damsel with some scrolls. You know, I have Bretonian still. And I always take, always take the scroll caddy. Because the Bretonians' magic sucks, they're not going to get any off, you might as well try to shut down. But anyways, I'm just curious, to my fellow high elf generals out there, you know, do people bitch and moan about the always strikes first? Because let me tell you, right now, I really, really think that the dark elves are stronger than the high elves. With their hatred, getting to re-roll, oh, that's huge. But anyways, I'd like to hear your input on what you guys think, you, whether you play, play high elves or play against them. Do you guys feel like the always strikes first rule, you know, is, is broken? And you're probably thinking, well, why did I get high elves? Well, like I said earlier in the video, I created a war machine, uh, well, actually hordes, troll blood army. I'm trying to get away from privateer press a little bit because I have too much of their stuff. And I thought I wanted to play a different army that I've never played before. But anyways, I look forward to your comments about the high elves, both your experiences, whether you play them or not. Well, I hope you enjoyed my review. Uh, probably gave out some statistics that I shouldn't have. But, you know, it's hard to talk about this stuff. And, yeah, that, that's right. Someone getting overrun by Dragon Prince. But, anyways, uh, have a good day. And see you on YouTube very soon. That's okay, cause so are you. Broke on me is Sunday morning. It's every day for all I care. I'm not scared, light my candles in our days, cause I found God, yeah!